Welcome to ABC Interactive English. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike. Hello, I'm Kiki. And today we have a dialogue for all you guys. A dialogue about catching up.、Yes. And no, I'm not running after a bus because I just missed it, and I'm <laughs> running to catch up with the bus. I am far too slow to do that. No, this is catching up with people, not by chasing after them, but by seeing them. And getting up to date with what is going on in their lives, catching up on their news and their new events, their new things, their new lives, their new stories. Right? Maybe you haven't seen this person in a while. Exactly. Mike, I haven't seen you in、uh, a, a week. A week? My gosh. Yeah. So we have to catch up、we、after、do. the show. Absolutely. And maybe as you get older. There'll be people you haven't seen for a year or more, and you'll have a lot of catching up to do. And even if you're younger, at the end of the summer holiday, you haven't seen your classmates for two or three months. Me, hey, how was your summer? What did you do? Ah,、oh, you went to Hawaii. Oh, tell me all about it. We're catching up. We're filling in our friends on our latest news after not seeing them for a while.、Mm-hmm. So today's dialogue is all about catching up. Let's do it. Carson runs into his friend Rosie. Hey, Rosie, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Hi, Carson. I've actually been pretty busy lately. Are your professors working you to the bone? Yeah, I've had to report to one of them every day since last month. Today we are talking about catching up.、Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, when people haven't seen each other for a while,、yep. they want to know what's going on. And in today's dialogue, Carson runs into his friend Rosie. Not with his car. No, no. Oh, no. okay, good.、No. Yeah, if you run into someone, you you hit someone with your bicycle or car. Ah, crash! No, it's not that. It just means he meets her and he doesn't expect to. Right. Maybe they're walking down the street. Maybe they're in the same shop or store at the same. Hey, look! Hey, it's you and I'm me and you're you. <laughs> oh, that's great. We didn't expect this. Yeah. So that's kind of the situation. Hey, Rosie. Carson says, or maybe, "Hey, Rosie." I'm not sure how he feels. I think he's excited. Hey, Rosie! I haven't seen you in a while. So there you go. That's why he's surprised, and that's why they have some catching up to do. He hasn't seen her in a while. It's been quite a long time since they have been together and had a chance to meet and talk. And so, of course, he asks her a very good question. You can ask someone. If you haven't seen them for a while, how have you been? Are you okay? Tell me about your life recently. Right. It's always very polite、yeah. when you haven't seen somebody in a while to ask about their lives. Right.、Yeah. To show that you care. And、right? listen to their answer. Don't、yeah. say, "How have you been?" And then, <laughs> oh yeah. No, don't do that. That's right. Well. Rosie says, "Hi, Carson.、Mm. I've actually been pretty busy lately." Okay, well, that、wow. could be an interesting story, and maybe that's why they haven't seen each other in a while. Hmm, that's also true. Yeah, she's been away doing stuff. What kind of stuff? Well, we don't know. But Carson, since he's a friend, he he has a bit of an idea, or he can make a good guess.、Ah. He says, "Are your professors working you to the bone?" Oh my gosh! What are those professors doing to her? Well, from that we know one thing at least: Rosie is a student at a university because a professor is basically what we would call a teacher at a university or a college of some kind. After you go to high school. For the rest of your education in university, college, graduate school, even if you become a doctor or something, you will have professors as your teachers, and these are usually doctors or PhDs. Professors are teachers, but also experts at what they are teaching about.、Right. And if they're working her to the bone, does that mean she's studying to be a doctor and、mm, she's、no. learning about bones? No, no, no. 
And clearly, Carson knows Rosie quite well,、mm. and he knows how her professors are like.、Mm. They're not easy. They're、uh. working her to the bone. So when you work somebody to the bone, you're basically pushing someone to the limit. By making them work very hard, so it could be lots of projects,、mm -hmm. working long hours, and just doing so many things,、mm. really putting a lot of pressure on someone. And they're just working so hard. They're working not just you know on a external. Level. They're、mm -hmm. working so hard; even their bones are or, tired. Or they're working so hard they don't have time to rest or、yeah. eat. So they're losing weight, and you can see their、oh, bones、yeah. because they're working so hard they don't have time for a snack. Yeah,、oh, it's terrible. It's not really that bad, but it does mean you've just been working really, really hard.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Rosie says, "Yeah, I've had、oh. to report to one of them." Every day since last month. Wow! So every day she's been at school. She's had to go to the professor's office and、mm. actually give them a report about something,、oh, talk to them、okay. about something for a whole month. Yeah, very interesting. It sounds like she's studying something difficult,、mm. and her professors are pushing her very hard. If she's reporting to them every day, to report using this as a verb. Basically means you're going to see someone to tell them what you are doing, what work you are accomplishing, what work you are still planning to do in the future. If you have a boss, your boss might just say, "Okay, go do your work. I don't care what you do for the rest of your job." That's not very likely, though. Generally, with jobs and bosses, once in a while you have to go and say, "Okay, boss, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm working on. This is my project, my plan. This is what I'm going to do tomorrow. This is the goal I want to reach at the end." And just by telling someone what you're working on, by giving them the information about your work, and Kind of letting them know how well it's going, what you're doing, what you're still planning to do. You are reporting to that person. Now you might actually have to write all that down and give it to your boss, Drew. So this is what you're doing. This、yeah. is what, that would be a report, but to actually report might just be to go in and talk to them and tell them what's going on with your work. Well, Mike, we got to take a break, but、oh. we will report back to you guys later. We will. That must take a lot out of you. It does. But enough about me. What have you been up to? I haven't been up to much, but I've made good progress in my studies. That's great. I've never had any doubts about that. Welcome back. Today we are talking about catching up,、mm. and we're hearing a conversation between Carson and Rosie, who haven't seen each other in a while, and they need to catch up. So Carson has asked Rosie, "How have how has she been? What have you been up to?"、Mm -hmm. And she's been working really hard because she's had to report. To a professor every day for a month. That's right. Her studies at university are really, really difficult, and they take a lot of her time, work, and energy. And this sounds difficult. So, as Carson says, that must take a lot out of you. Remember, Rosie said that. Her professors are working her to the bone, so she's got so much work to do, both at school and at home. And she has to report to a professor at least once a day. All of that sounds like a heavy workload, and that's why Carson says that must take a lot out of you. It must take up a lot of your time, your energy, your stress level must be high. You know, this must be a difficult time. You are going through at school. Yes, and she agrees with what Carson says.、Mm. It does. It really does take a lot. She says it does,、mm. but enough about me. Okay. What have you been up to?、Right. Usually, when we you know bump into someone,、mm -hmm. we don't just start talking about ourselves. We also want to give consideration to our. 
counterpart, and we should care about what they're doing too, right?、Oh, absolutely. So she asks Carson, "What have you been up to?" Yeah, and if she's at school, just doing a lot of homework and reports, and、so、maybe she doesn't want to talk about it. She's、True. always thinking about it. You know, maybe she also knows it's not really that interesting、That's、to、true. most people. So、eh, it's work. It's taking a lot of time. It's hard. But anyways. She changes the subject and yeah, turns it around on Carson. So what's going on with you? What's news in your life, Carson?、Eh, well, not much. Carson says I haven't been up to much. So he hasn't been very busy these days. He doesn't have a story about reports and working himself to the bone. But he does have a bit of good news. He says, but I've made good progress. In my studies, so he is also a student,、mm -hmm. but he is doing something much easier than Rosie. Maybe she's in, I don't know, law school or something like that. Whereas Carson is studying something a little bit easier that doesn't require so much time, work, and energy. But he's still doing well. He's made some progress. In his studies, right, and of course, whenever we hear about our friend having a good time、mm -hmm. or making progress,、yep. of course, we're happy for them. For so、sure. Rosie says, "That's great. I've never had any doubts about that. She's always been、cool. confident that Carson would do a good job at school." So Carson talks about making progress、mm. in his studies. Progress is basically the development towards an improved. Or advanced condition. So when something is getting better, something is growing. You're doing something, and every single time you're getting better at it. Okay, and it's also a possibility of coming to an end of a completion of something. So you're making progress towards something. So an example would be: you can see the group making progress on their science project.、Mm. So they've been working many months, but you can see the progress, how it's changing every step of the way. Yeah, you're getting taking good steps towards reaching that goal in、mm -hmm. the end. So he's reaching his goal. That's fantastic. And Rosie never had any doubt about that. Doubt. Is when you're not quite sure that something will happen. You have questions in your mind. You're not filled with confidence. Yeah, this is going to happen. There's no way it's not going to happen. I feel very comfortable and confident. No, if you have doubt, or if you doubt, we can use it as a verb. You have some worries. You have some concerns. You're like, I'm not sure. Do you think this is right? Do you really? Are you really confident? I don't know. I have lots of doubts. So anytime you're asking yourself questions and you don't feel a hundred percent positive and sure, or if you have questions about another person, you don't believe in them one hundred percent. You have some doubts, or you might doubt that person to use it as a verb. So I don't doubt that they will end up having a great conversation. Hopefully, they'll have a chance to really chat and catch up with what they are doing. All right, guys, that's all the time we have today. But we're going to be back with more great stuff, and tomorrow another fun dialogue. So please join us for that. Until then, bye bye, and we'll catch up with you soon. Carson runs into his friend Rosie. Hey, Rosie. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Hi, Carson. I've actually been pretty busy lately. Are your professors working you to the bone? Yeah, I've had to report to one of them every day since last month. That must take a lot out of you. It does. But enough about me. What have you been up to? I haven't been up to much, but I've made good progress in my studies. That's great. I've never had any doubts about that. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at this lesson's key words. The first one is professor. Professor, professor, adjective, professor. Professor Smith is highly respected by his students. Smith 教授深受学生尊敬。下一个单词 report 
report 动词报告呈报。Ivy needs to report to her manager at work every morning. 每天早上 ，Ivy 需要向经理报告工作状况。下一个单词 ，progress。Progress, 名词，进步，进展。The teacher was pleased to see the progress her students had made. 老师很高兴看到学生的进步。最后一个单词 doubt, doubt， 名词，怀疑，疑虑。I'm having doubts about Ruby's ability to do the job. 我对 Ruby 是否能胜任此项工作还有一些疑虑。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，to the bone 到极致，字面上的意思是到骨头里，用来形容达到极致的程度。常见用法是 work somebody to the bone， 使某人累得半死。我们来看看这个例句 ：Duncan worked himself to the bone to meet the project deadline。为了按期完成任务 ，Duncan 拼命工作。下一个文法。Take a lot out of somebody, 使某人精疲力尽。这是一个固定用法。我们来看看这个例句。The difficult test took a lot out of him. 这个困难的测验使他精疲力尽。最后一个文法 ，Somebody is up to something. 某人忙于某事物。这是一个口语用法，也可以表示秘密的做坏事。我们来看看这个例句。I think Bruce is up to something. 我觉得 Bruce 好像在密谋什么。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Hey, what are you watching? Oh, this dance group is absolutely amazing. Wow, their moves are so synchronized and professional. They totally slay it. Slay? Nobody killed anybody. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, Shane. Here, slay means that they did an excellent job. It's a slang term to compliment someone's performance or outfits. Look at that. I can't believe they just did slayed that. it. He slayed it, right? He slayed it. Yeah. Hi everyone! Today we are going to talk about the term "slay." Yes, and it doesn't always mean to kill something.、Yeah, exactly. In modern slang, "slay" means to amuse or greatly impress. It is often used to praise a person's look or performance. It's like saying someone is doing awesome. For example, she slayed that presentation at the meeting today. Or you might say he is slaying in that outfit. When you see someone looking particularly fashionable or stylish, exactly. Whether it's an activity, a look, or a performance, saying someone is slaying is a high compliment. So, to all our viewers out there, next time you see someone doing something amazing, don't hesitate to tell them they're slaying. Right, and that's all for today. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.